Hello, my name is Julie and welcome to my J True channel. I am an Etsy seller and I have a shop called J True Designs. I sell handmade cards, gifts and party decorations. If you would like to go and check that out, I can leave the link down in the description box below. I have been selling on Etsy since 2015. Initially, I only had a handful of items to sell for fun as I still had a full-time job back then. And it was so satisfying each time I sold something. So from that day on, I knew that I wanted to expand my shop. And then 2016, I was made redundant. And at that point, I knew I didn't want to work for anyone else. So I started working really hard on my Etsy shop. And now I make a full-time living out of it. This is why I wanted to make this video to show you my five top tips on how to build your shop to success and make a full-time living out of it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos in the future. So are you ready? Okay, let's go. So tip number one is to take good photos. It is so important to have good photos for your listing as this is the first thing that the customer sees when they search for an item. You want your photo to be inviting and make the customer think, oh, what's that? And then click on your listing. Try to take the photos in daylight if possible. If not, then use good lighting so that you can capture all the colours and the details of your item. If you can, try to invest in some photography studio lighting so you can take your photos whenever you want. I have these ones which are from Amazon. They are affordable, easy to assemble and to pack away without taking up too much space. If you can't really afford any studio lighting, then there are many things around the house you could use, such as a lamp, candles or a selfie ring light. Whatever you can find, just try and use it and see what works. Make sure you have a nice clear background. I like to use a white background so nothing else would draw the attention away from my object. Now you don't always have to use a white background. It really comes down to what kind of mood you want to create for your customer. There has been many occasions when I've not used a white background because I felt it was right. Try practicing taking photos at a different angle and use props if necessary to enhance the items you're trying to sell. It would be really useful if you can create a vibe for the customer. If it's a birthday, add some cakes or balloons or a banner on a wall. If it's a hen party, create a theme. Or if it's Christmas, use festive colours to make the customer feel the Christmas spirit. Etsy would like sellers to upload at least five photos to their listing. The more the better, but minimum of five. You can see here I've uploaded 10 photos of this customised banner. I've taken the photos at different angles and shown the colours available from my listing. It's always good to give as many ideas and information to the customer as much as possible. If you're selling an item with different colour variation, then create a shade chart and take a photo of that as well and then upload it to your listing. Try and take as many photos as possible and in the end you can pick and choose which one you want to edit and upload to your Etsy shop. Just wanted to point out that the appearance of your shop is important as well. As the saying goes, first impressions matters, right? Make sure you have a good brand name and feature your best selling items at the top and just let the customer know what your shop is about. Tip number two is keywords in your title and tags. By having keywords in your title and tags, this would enable the customer to find you more easily. Now, ideally, you want your item to be in the top five pages of the search section. Pretend you are the customer for a moment and think of the first few words that come to mind that's related to what you want to search for. I sell cake toppers, so what I would do is go to the search bar and type in cake topper and it comes up with the most popular keyword search relating to cake topper and in this case I would use the most appropriate keywords and make a list of them and use them in my title and tags when the title is used up to its capacity then you can use the keywords in the tag section which is down just down below the description I also find it really useful to study other successful Etsy sellers and see what type of keywords they use and then maybe apply it to my shop but obviously don't copy it word for word. Tip number three 
is to add more items and revise your listing. If you want your shop to be making more money, then you should be adding more items or revise your listing on a daily basis. Etsy likes to reward sellers who are constantly working on their shop. And you can also find these information from looking at your statistics. So if I'm not uploading an item every day, then I would go to each listing and do some revision, especially if it's been slow in sales. I might change a few keywords or replace my old photos with new photos, just so that my shop is constantly improving. If you like all my tips so far, then please hit the like button down below. This would really help my channel and it would also help people find my video as well. Tip number four is to use social media. It's a great way for your business to get noticed I personally use Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest to share my items and it has worked well for me so far. Also using the right hashtags for your posts would help the people find you more easily and this could potentially lead to a sale. And finally tip number five. Everybody loves a discount whether it's big or small, right? When a customer sees something they like that's on sale in your shop, they are more likely to view other items in your shop as well and then this could potentially lead to a bigger sale. There are three types of promotions you can create. Run a sale, send offers to interested shoppers and create a coupon. I've used all three so far and it's definitely helped my shop get more traffic and sales. I always pop one of these flyers out with a coupon code on it just so that the customer can get some discount whenever they come back to shop again. This has my name and social media on it, so this is a great way to promote yourself as well. And believe me, this has worked wonders. There is actually one more tip I would like to share, and that is customer service. I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure your customers are happy with your products and services. Make sure you are quick to answer any questions and resolve any issues that may occur. You want to build that trust with the customer. And this gives the customer the confidence to shop with you again in the future. And it's okay to follow up with the customer and check if they are happy with your products and ask for a feedback as this would help build your shop. If you haven't yet tried all these tips, then please try it out and let me know how you get on. Please press the like button if you found this video helpful and I would love to hear your comments down below. And good luck with building your Etsy shop. Bye guys.